Hello, everyone. This is RJ with our Lenten special prayer. I want to thank you for tuning in to have a time to pray and focus our hearts to our Lord. It will be truly disheartening if we just listen to all the news and how rapidly、uh, this pandemic is escalating. And I'm not saying that we should walk away, but I'm saying that we should focus and anchor our hearts. To the hope that comes from God, and also pray for the world. So, as we are going through this time, I would like to invite you to focus your hearts onto the God who gives us hope and who also challenges us every day. Today, in our devotion, from reckon to right, reckon as righteousness,、uh, Patsy had shared how. Uh, from Mark chapter seven, how、uh, sometimes our our traditions and our faith might collide, and she was asking for wisdom. And if you go back to the story and read it from Mark chapter seven, you'll hear how <laughs>、uh, ironically it talks about washing hands. And this time, the disciples are the ones who are not washing hands and eating food, and especially at this time、uh, in our days, that's. Not a good thing. Jesus defends、uh, the disciples, who were being criticized by the Pharisees, who were、uh, observing the law that was given by Moses.、And、there's one thing that we have to remember: the reason why God had gave all these laws to the Israelites were number one in the, their context because they were in the wilderness, and it was very important for them to. Be healthy and be sanitized. So that's one reason to do that. But it was more because God wanted their heart, their heart to be focused only onto God alone, who was full of care, who was their leader, and who was caring enough to give them all these law to be clean. So remember, any word that you hear and guidance that you hear from. The government asking us to wash our hands. We have to remember that it comes from care. In the same way, what God was asking the Israelites to do through this law was to focus their hearts and love the God who was full of care. And it was not what they ate that made them contaminated. It was actually what comes from their heart, what God really wanted to see. It says in verse fifteen, nothing outside of a person can enter and contaminate a person in God's sight. Now we have to remember Jesus is not talking about a corona virus.、Uh, it can definitely come in and make us ill, make us contaminated. But Jesus is talking about food. The food that the Israelites had designated as unclean food that did not. Make the people of God contaminate in God's sight. But what Jesus says, rather, the things that come out of a person contaminates the person. And Jesus is talking about the heart. Jesus is saying that no matter how good and clean food that you eat, if your heart is not focused to God, if your heart is not fully offered to God, our life is still contaminated. And especially at this time, as we are facing this pandemic, not only that I fear, and I'm worried about COVID-19, that will make people ill. I also am very concerned about the heart of hatred and the heart of selfishness that was driven by fear, that truly contaminates. Not only our soul, but the soul of this nation. It is our heart that we need to offer, and it is that our heart, especially as people of God, that needs to shine in this time of crisis. So let's focus our hearts once more to our Lord. Asking for God's deliverance. In this time, 
but also asking God to help us. To offer our hearts to God and also let our hearts and anything that comes out of us be a hope unto this world instead of a virus emerging from our selfishness, emerging from our hatred, and emerging from our sin. Let us have a time to pray. Lord, we come to you knowing that you are our Lord and you are the God who is full of care. And at this time, we ask that your care will be upon us. Your care will be upon the people who are affected by COVID-19. Your care will touch them. Your care will heal them. Your care will restore them, strengthen them. Lord, and also embrace them in your love so they would not fear, but they will be able to stand against this virus with you. May you also be with the medical staff, the government who is guiding us to lead and fight against this pandemic. But we also ask that your care will be upon us, your people. That through your care that we will be able to offer our heart to you and you alone. And to have this heart that is offered to you. Flow into the world with hope and love and grace. That seems to have it taken away. So be with us today as we pray. And I would like to invite you to pray with me, whether you pray in silence or out loud. Pray that we will not lose heart, that we will not lose hope, that we will not allow anything contaminated from us to flow into this world, that we will only shine the light of Jesus and the image of Christ that lives with us. Let us have a time to pray together. Let us pray. would like us to continue to pray and pray for the people who are affected by COVID-19. Let's pray for healing. Let's pray that God will take away their fear. That God will reassure them once more how our Good Shepherd is there with them. That His right hand and His staff guides them as they are walking through the valley of death. And let's pray that they will be healed. So let us have a time to pray together. 하나님, 이 시간, COVID-19 확진자들이 있음을 우리가 기억합니다. 하나님, 그들 한 사람 한 사람을 기억하여 주시고, 하나님, 치유하여 주시고, 하나님, 그들에게 새 힘을 부어 주시옵소서. 치유하실 뿐만 아니라, 주님이 함께 계심을 증거하여 주시옵소서. 주님 새 힘을 주셔서 하나님 이 바이러스와 맞서 싸우고 이길 수 있도록 도와주시옵소서. 함께하여 주시옵소서. 
And as we continue to pray, let us pray that this pandemic will go away, that the curves will flatten, that we'll be able to find treatment and vaccine. Let's pray for medical staff and also our leaders. Let us have a time to pray. 하나님 오직 하나님만이 이 일을 모두 진압해 가실 줄 믿습니다. 하나님 이 시간 함께 하여 주시고 하나님 이 모든 것들이 우리가 힘을 합하여 이겨낼 수 있게 도와주시옵소서. 하나님 함께 하시고 주님이 도와주실 줄 믿사오니 하나님 역사하여 주시옵소서. And as we close our prayers, I would like to invite you to look into the screen and pray with me the prayer that our bishop had asked us to pray at noon, but we're going to do it right now. Let us pray. Almighty God, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit, we thank you for your blessings past, present, and future. You are our rock and the source of our hope in all things and at all times. As Jehovah Jireh, our provider God, we ask you this day to stretch out your mighty hand and eradicate from the face of the earth forever this virus called COVID-19 that is spreading rapidly from continent to continent. We also pray that you, Jehovah Rapha, our healing God, will place your hand upon all those who have been stricken by this virus and restore them to full health. Be with those who have lost loved ones and are grieving. Protect all who are caring for those with this virus and keep them from contracting it themselves. Calm our fears and provide us with your peace that surpasses all understanding. Strengthen us with the joy of the Lord and help us to hold firmly to the hope that only you can provide. Unify us that we, the Virginia Annual Conference, may be able to experience anew the promise of your presence in and through the unity of our faith, hope, and trust in you in the days ahead and forever. We offer this prayer in the mighty name of our Lord Jesus Christ. Amen. And let us continue with the prayer that our Lord had taught us. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not in temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, the power, and the glory forever. Amen. Thank you once more for joining us today. I pray that God will be with you. And I pray that we will overcome this pandemic together. If you have any prayer requests, please leave it below in the comment section. Or email me at pastor at rcmc.org. I hope you have a safe and healthy day. And tomorrow... We will have our online worship starting at 8.30. You'll be able to tune in live at 8.30 at www.rcmc.org slash watch. But you don't have to wake up that early because after the worship is over, there will be a rebroadcast that is available anytime for your convenience. Gather your family members and sit and come and participate in worship together. May God bless you, and may you become a blessing unto this world. Have a great one. Bye-bye.